Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and it is time to start breaking it down with the rest of the Combiner War Stuntercons. And we're gonna start with breakdown because I literally just said, quote, breaking it down, end quote. Do you get the wordplay? I tried to be real subtle there. Breakdown's car mode is a Lamborghini-style Lamborghini-alike that's not really a Lamborghini, but he's still getting retooled into Sunstreaker. What? Anyway, the sculpt of this alt mode is sharp, with lots of precise angles and a big sweeping wedge of a hood. It looks excellent and comes with equally excellent colors. The cream and navy paint scheme looks hardcore on target with the original Breakdown Toys colors, and the big red paint app on the hood stays crisply within its borders. The rims are silvered up too, which is a nice thing to see on modern deluxes. The rear end is unpainted, as modern deluxes tend to do, and there's a big dumb 15 racing tampo on the front windshield. I could do without that. I never dig words on front windshields. Breakdown rolls super well and has slots on either door to allow his shotgun sword thing to plug in and make his side swipes double deadly. His hand foot gun can peg onto the roof all casual style, but it's also got tabs to allow it to hug tighter onto the roof and look a whole lot like Sunstreaker's upper exhaust vents. Planning ahead, yo! Breakdown's transformation is conceptually simple and deceptively tricky. It's kind of weird to get his windshield folded up, his arms are very specifically slid onto some T-tracks, and when you fold them up, his shoulders have to stop at their halfway points before everything else happens. The legs are also weird, using a sideways double hinge rather than drag strip simple pullout mechanism. Also, the hips are individually swivelable and not in a very helpful way. Once you get the head and chest folded down, the shoulders transform the rest of the way to lock them into place. There are so many weird, finicky, specific orders of operation to this conversion. Breakdown came off looking a little stumpy and stick-armed in initial photography, and like many figures, he looks a bit better when you can rotate him around and see him from a number of angles in person. His body shape is pretty darn blocky, but he's mostly betrayed by the giant blob of navy blue on the front of each of his legs. It makes them look even more enormous than they really are compared to the rest of his body. If the actual leg line were defined and picked out within the sea of blue, I think he'd look a whole lot better. He also has a big hollow shell of car hood on his back, which doesn't do him many favors, but does facilitate the mounting of his hand foot gun using either its peg or sliding in along the tabs on its sides. This is the final part of the Sunstreaker pre-planning equation, but doesn't look terrible on Breakdown himself. I am quite pleased with Breakdown's head and chest. His combiner port is mostly hidden beneath a nicely G1-ish peck plate of silver and blue machinery, and his head is a proper Scramble City blockhead, modernized with a slick sculpt and painted with a sharp glossy red. Breakdown's hand foot gun has a pair of straight up Sunstreaker exhausts as dual blaster barrels, but the real fun is his other weapon. Held one way, it's clearly a sword. Held the other way, it's clearly a hand cannon of sorts with an obscenely huge bayonet along the bottom. Hey, are you sun streaker? No, you're not. Get this nonsense off you. Anyway, Breakdown has got a ball jointed neck. Uh, he's not going to do a cartwheel. I'm going to just move the camera. He's got a ball jointed neck, and uh, it's got just a little bit of wiggle room, but it mostly serves uh, to turn his head left and right. His shoulders. I've got ball socket joints as well, with a nice big cut at the top so you can uh, totally tree pose, and uh, they're pretty solid. His elbows are, I guess, technically double jointed, uh, in that there is a, uh, a ball socket joint that also serves as a bicep swivel, and then if you want, there's also a uh, hinge here. It looks detented, but it's not, or at least not really. It's very softly detented in a few spots, but this does mean you can get a full double-jointed uh, curl, mostly because of the transformation. There is a waist joint right below all this stuff here. Uh, the hips are ball-jointed uh, with full Van Damme ability, but they're weird because th this happens. <laughs> so, he's got Fig Arts hips in a, in a sense, in that they are on like the separate sideways axis. They're technically separate from each other, uh, but in the case of Breakdown, they do have uh, kind of like a, you know, a stopper, so they, they will, you know, have a, a an outward extended point and a most inward extended point. And, uh, they are annoying, because they don't really lock anywhere, and they, they could help with posability, but more often than not, they just end up making me feel like this guy is always kinda wiggly, uh, in a way that is not helpful. Uh, he does have thigh swivels, he's got knee joints, his thighs are so tiny compared to his shins, though, like, this knee joint does barely anything. Uh, and you might have noticed a few times, this coming loose. 
On this leg, it's not as bad, but, uh, well, okay, I guess if you really want to be. But on the other leg, I've had it uh, a lot worse until I figured out the way that all this stuff clicks together. Because this one, the tolerances, the base tolerances were just not working. And constantly his leg was doing this. What I found is the way that this thing is clicking, it's not clicking into the chasm in here. Uh, this blue thing is clicking up into that little tab there. So you gotta push it up. That'll help, but uh, if you're not lucky, you're, you're gonna have a whole lot of this happening. And... Uh, it, like, that combined with the weird hips, combined with the somewhat useless look of bending his knee, uh, means that from the waist down, I find breakdown really disappointing to pose. Um, his feet have got joints from the transformation, but, uh, like, this one can, I guess if you're having him step forward, it can, it can do a little bit of something, but you can't use this rear flap to come down and, you know, add some heel support back there when you're doing such a thing, uh, and then this... Heel support does fold backwards. It does kind of soft lock into place, so it's not going to give out uh, when you're just, like, standing him up. But his legs just, like, this is sort of the best I can do. And I guess you could make use of this for the sake of posing to some degree, but I really don't feel like it. Uh, just in general, I find this guy kind of frustrating to pose, and he always ends up looking a little awkward uh, no matter what I do. He's warmed up to me uh, since when I first had him, when I decided that... At the time, I thought he was kind of junky, but, you know, this is kind of cool. Um, there's, there's room to, to find goodness in Breakdown. It's just super difficult. There isn't a lot of excitement when Breakdown becomes a leg. He's basically a car with its hood flipped back. But, hey, he does make for a solid combiner shin mass. And if you use him alongside Drag Strip, Breakdown has a matching height adjustment toggle engineered into his foot port area. So you can make Metasaur, or whoever else, like, what, half an inch taller? It's something. Breakdown's arm mode is equally straightforward for the most part, but his weird hip swivel stuff is the means by which the forearm extends slightly, and it can also serve as a perpendicular axis elbow joint, either to allow for an inward bend or to facilitate a thinner forearm formation. Straight up, when I first completed the Combiner Wars Stunticons, I felt like Breakdown was the weakest of the bunch. Now that time's gone by, he has warmed up to me a bit, though I'm not sure if he's still any better in the rankings. I'd definitely say Drag Strip and Dead End are a better pair of figures overall, but a Breakdown with solid tolerances has a particular retro charm to be sure. I just wish that some different engineering choices had been made from the waist down. Those free flow hip swivels are annoying, and the sideways double hinges make his shins hollow and his knees a little janky. I'd love to see what kind of visual difference could be made by breaking up the blue on the fronts of Breakdown legs too. Hey, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist and I do wish Breakdown had turned out a little better. He's got my favorite Stunticon color palette and the G2 Breakdown stigma to live up to. Oh well. I'll see if he continues to slowly, very slowly, grow on me.